what up let's talk about middleware in next years how you can you know add middlewares to intercept any kind of api requests and this can be useful you know and there are lots of use cases like setting up cookies before your request actually hit your endpoint or you know mm, other one is like let's say you have a common uh, authorization way for multiple endpoints uh, instead of writing the same logic again and again you can use a middleware to intercept those requests inject something in take something out and all those kind of things right so that's the idea here you can see that i have just bootstrap simple next project in case if you want to do the same uh, same starting point it's just yarn create and then next app i'm using typescript template because we all know typescript is awesome and then middleware so yeah this is the command that i used to you know create this entire folder structure and here inside the we are not interested into public and styles inside the pages we have api and here we have hello.ts which is basically simple you know uh, simple route and now let's do some you know some testing to check how it's working so we have this url ready and i'll just create a you know simple rest client and not folder i'll just create rest calls or just rest http so if you have if you're using vs code you can use any you know rest client i'm using vs code rest client to make these requests so get http and then localhost 3000 slash api slash hello and if i send the request i get the response which is expected great now once we are done with this uh, you know let's say we want to do some kind of authorizations and here let's say i pass in authorization and then token is let's say secret key some secret key okay so let me just do that yeah okay now uh, you know uh, this authorization may not be very good for you know uh, the apis which need to differentiate between different clients in that case you should use something like jwt's and sign it from the server and you know give distribute those jwt's but let's say you are using creating an api which is going to face server where generally you don't need to differentiate between different clients let's say a slack client where you need to you know have those keys api keys and send some automated messages in that case you don't really need to do that differentiation in that case you can have a constant api clients i mean api keys to access some specific features but in all other cases it's preferred to use dynamic api keys and generate those dynamically using something like json web token um, because you know that ensures that the specific clients are getting specific permissions authentications basically yeah so i just want to see if it is valid so i'll just use request dot um, headers dot authorization and if it does not exist let's say we give it an empty string and some secret and then api key and because the statement is getting ambiguous i need to wrap this one in a bracket now it's all good if uh, if the request is valid if it is valid if it is not valid then i just need to you know res dot status 401 if it just moves or better word will be unauthorized because yeah this is the minimum criteria if i do it like this and if i send it you will see that um, okay because uh, some secret key i think it's this um, yeah that's why everything went back. yeah so ideally in this case i'll see this response and if you see i'm actually getting it here but here i'm you know uncaught ex exception because the response is not just ending here once this is done it is also coming here and it is you know uh, uh, you know this is creating some ambiguity and that's why you need to have this return statement and at the end it is optional but ideally to you know follow all these standards together we should put it here as well so now if i do it everything should work fine and i'm getting this all right now i want to you know encapsulate this entire although this is very straightforward because we have one line of you know uh, authorization check but let's say you have a big database where you want to check if a specific user is allowed to write into a specific database or not and all those kind of stuff in that case you know you need to have full control and uh, maybe this one line can be let's say 15 16 lines and then you need to write it all over again so that can be a little bit tricky and that's why we use middleware create a new folder user and here uh, let's just ignore this hello route here i have one uh, data.ts which will be used to you know access any kind of data and then login.ts okay so data.ts will be used to access any kind of internal data so let's just copy paste this boiler to boilerplate here also and here i want to check if some secret api key um, is there and if it is valid we will have you know uh, some secret data otherwise we will keep it unauthorized similarly if i go to login and here um, some secret login data maybe and the same okay so these two routes are ready again this is three lines of code and if we use a middleware let's see what happens so underscore middleware dot ts and here um, in middleware we have this import next response from next slash server i believe export const i mean export const middleware equal to request which is next request i think yeah, this one and here uh, let's just do nothing just console log to see if it is working properly log middleware triggered 
Okay. And let's just clear it up and run it from the scratch. Okay. Let's try to send this request. Mm. Successfully compiled API hello. And okay, we don't need to make a request to hello, we need to make a request to data. Uh, okay, we are getting some error because there is no endpoint like this, user and then data. Hopefully we get, should get everything. So middleware triggered, okay. And the same should happen for login as well. So again, middleware triggered. All right. So one thing to note is that middleware is always triggered, you know, before doing the compilation of the route. So this is working fine. Now, instead of, uh, we, we are assuming that if the user hits this endpoint, the response is definitely going to be, you know, uh, success. So now we need to implement uh, this thing. Uh, again, we need to, we can use or not, it's optional. But yeah, let's just leave it. So now you see that this entire logic has gone into one line. So basically this particular endpoint, it will focus on only on, you know, the logic part. So this is done. Now we need to implement this logic into the middleware. So we need to do con, um, const authorize is valid equal to request dot headers dot get. Earlier we used to have request dot headers dot authorization. Here it is like whatever name you are putting in here, authorization, just use it like that. Okay. And, uh, and again, this is the thing. So we need to do that. Sum. And since again, we need to wrap it like this. Mm, yeah. And if it is valid, if it is not valid actually, then we need to do uh, next response dot json saying that name is unauthorized. So if it is not valid, we are sending a response unauthorized. Otherwise, we will, you know, intercept a request further. So yeah, this is the idea. Now, if I just go here and send request, it is giving me some secret login data. But if I do it like this and then send request unauthorized. So this is how the middleware works. As you can see that we are able to encapsulate the entire logic and we are able to, uh, you know, keep the routes cleaner and uh, make them specific to the use case they are supposed to do. Okay. But if you see, let's say you have a post request instead of get, you have a post request and let's say login. So in login, we will have this email and let's say some email at email.com. And if I try to uh, access the request body, some reason it won't let me do that and I've tried doing a lot of things like request parsing I've also tried adding to you know content type and all those things but none of these work I tried to do this as well that also didn't work so if I just quickly show you this and you know try to send a request send a post request basically so it gives me null right so uh, I mean I'm able to uh, you know get the headers uh, but it, when it comes to you know body parsing and all those things uh, in case if any of you know let me know in the comments but there's a better way which I'll uh, you know which we will use to because let's say if you are you know checking against the body of the user let's say someone is trying to change their display picture and then you want to make sure that they're changing their picture only so you can you know have some parameters in the body and you want to intercept those parameters to check if everything is fine in that case uh, you need to have the body as well right so and uh, that's why we will be uh, having a better approach for this so let me just quickly remove this middleware because I don't want to create any ambiguous situation and if I send it now it should all work fine so uh, let me just create a new folder called middleware or you can name it as HOC as well basically higher order components with login protect or just protect let's just give it with protect dot ts now export const with protect equal to handler which will be next API handler and it will return a handler function so return if you want to make an async function you can you know do some API calls or something like that you can do that as well uh, and if you want to because in this case we are just doing it within ourselves so we will make it simple uh, like normal in non async function so next API request response next API response and yep yeah. and again that is valid check if it is valid return handler otherwise return status and you see here we have like a lot of more freedom and just to make sure uh, I'll just do a console log request dot body. Okay. So let's now quickly jump here and send a request. And here, okay, and I need to uh, wrap this component with protect in this login route. So I need to do some changes here as well. Const handler equal to. Yep. So this is my new function export default with protect and then handler. Okay, so uh, now you need you notice that it is protected. This is a protected route. So if I send it now, I get the data, and you see the body is properly you know parsed accordingly. And so that's why this is useful. Now you can do some body parameter check also. So let's say you wanted to do some form validation. You want to you know, uh, this with protect. Uh, let's create a same component here with login protect. Oops. And let's just copy paste our previous code here. And here we want to check uh, 
const body e sorry email if the user has provided the email for login or not request dot body dot email or or empty and if email equal to equal to empty then not empty I mean the empty space and then if that is the case then also return response dot json uh, status four double zero dot basically invalid data kind of thing and name email not provided you know so now I can do these kind of additional checks also so if I just go here and instead of email like if I do this and send request everything works fine but if I let's say do some mess up here um, okay maybe let me check what's going wrong here okay we need to change it with with login uh, with on uh, this thing with login protect yep now I think everything should work fine email not provided and then if I just do it back email Again, email not provided. That is weird. Mm. Okay. So if I send it again, email not provided. Why is it again email not provided with login protect? Because at body dot email. Okay. Because we need to tell it that it is in JSON object. So I think this should work. Oops. Mm. Uh, I need to remove this one and do it like this. And if I send it now, some secret login data. So yeah. So as you can see here, we have like uh, encapsulated the same logic, and now we have full control over body as well. We can do any kind of you know custom things, and we can do some asynchronous operations. And if you are using Node, uh, you know this syntax looks more familiar than the middleware that we created. And so yeah, these are the two ways you can use to you know create middlewares and protect your routes, your API routes accordingly. So that's all for this video, and I hope you liked it. In case if you have any questions, let me know. In case if you have any suggestions to you know make things even better, let me know. Thank you very much.